Hello to viewers and listeners everywhere. Thank you to the organizers of this virtual island summit for the invitation to present. It's an honor to share with you my perspectives on the most important microbes on Earth, microalgae. Being the disruptor that I am, I immediately signal my intent to go beyond the sustainability. We are caught in a linear economy, even though we have been flirting with ideas of a green economy, sustainable development, and more recently, the circular economy. Researchers and practitioners of sustainable development and circular economic theory have now evolved to accept that the next step must be regenerative. We must go beyond doing no harm to doing as nature does. This metric, Earth Overshoot Day, puts our predicament into perspective. This is the date on which we exceed the planet's biocapacity to replenish the resources we consume in the year of concern. After that date, we are drawing down on savings accumulated pre-industrial revolution or using up biocapacity credit, which will be paid for by future generations. Trinidad and Tobago hit Earth Overshoot Day on March 12th this year. Let's talk innovation, which relies on research and development. Note that small island states spend on average less than 1% of their GDP on R&D. Countries that spend well above that percentage are accepted as the leaders in innovation. As an absolute rather than a relative figure, the scale of R&D spend by the major players dwarfs all other participants. R&D must increase in island economies if we are to innovate sustainably. Now to my preferred solution, algae. Take my word for it. Without algae, we would not be here. We could not stay here, and we will not be happy here. They are the literal founders of the feast for carbon-based aerobic life forms on Earth. They created the environmental conditions, resources, and can recalibrate and regenerate them. This is our secret weapon, patented photobioreactors we call vertical growth modules that allow us to overcome one of the major obstacles to successful algae industries, growing microalgae at commodity scale. Algae industry technology covers the gamut of biotechnological applications. Biology, chemistry, biochemistry, genetics, food technology, pharmacology, artificial intelligence, machine learning, agronomy, farming, robotics, and so on. Being the primary producers on Earth, they convert sunlight into glucose, which is the basic building block of all carbon molecules. There is very little they cannot make. Whatever you can make from fossil hydrocarbons, you can make from algae. The only difference between fossil hydrocarbons and living algae is time temperature, and pressure. These are just a few of the known products and values possible from algae biomass. And this doesn't valorize the ecosystem services they can provide. For example, wastewater treatment, carbon capture and use, reversal of global warming, and biogeochemical cycling. This preliminary landscape maps industry participants along the value chain in different market verticals. There are 67 on this version of the map. We anticipate hundreds soon. No company is an island. As such, we need to build partnerships with academia and industry. We partner with Texas A&M for independent product field trials, University of Houston for mentoring students and for research into novel biomaterials. University of Texas at Austin for algae seed cultures and student internships, as CATI for professional training, and Florida AMU for public-private partnerships to solve real-world problems. Industrial partnerships with technology and professional service providers support our strategic goals. George Fisher for special tubing used in our vertical growth modules, Origin Clare for our harvesting technology, and LCE Labs 
who formulate our skincare line using our algal extract. We currently have two products on the market, Elix Earth Soil Amendment and the Algal Layer Skincare Collection, both of which consistently receive excellent reviews. I'll spend the least time on this slide. I've somehow managed to achieve a lot outside of Trinidad and Tobago, but I intend to use my skills to benefit TNT and other small island states. From a policy perspective, governments need to facilitate algae entrepreneurship through legislation, policy, and public spend. Stimulate and incentivize private sector engagement and investment in the algae industry. Level the playing field for algae biotechnology. Treat the same as fossil hydrocarbons or renewable energy. Fund wide applications of algae, not just biofuel. Increase funding for research, development, demonstration, and deployment of algae-based biotechnologies. Recognize algae's ability to fix the problems we know exist and those we can anticipate. Act now. Don't politicize environmental issues. Academia also has an important role. Academia is mostly where new ideas, science, and technology originate. But academia is where we train the next generation of workers in the algae industry. Training individuals how to think is more valuable to the algae industry, especially when dealing with emergent problems or unknown unknowns. Develop curricula. Collaborate with businesses on research. Promote public-private partnerships. Establish industry advisory boards. Encourage technical majors to take entrepreneurship courses and educate. Here is some references and recommended reading, and I thank you for your attention and await your questions.